Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy K Bradshaw 880. A um, couple of more updates. Uh, I still haven't put on the torque converter yet. Here it is down there. I'm just going to go ahead and buy one because trying to chop and get this thing just right, I just don't have the patience for it. So I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and buy the uh, torque converter and put on there. Uh, it's one on eBay for 117 uh, as a buy now. It's a few more on there on auction for less, but by the time the auction end, it's going to be about the same price anyway. So I get some more money. Um, just going to go ahead and buy that part. Now for the updates. Uh, well, I painted the seat white, and I also painted the uh, foot brackets golden white. Okay, uh, I didn't put the other one on. It's still in the house. And this just came in yesterday. I ordered it from OMB Warehouse or some something like that. OMB some something. Uh, but they had this part. It didn't exactly fit on here. Uh, one is supposed to number one. This exhaust is supposed to face the opposite direction because you know I have the engine mounted reverse, so it's supposed to face that way. So I have a small space. Uh, see if I can get it right there. Have a, that small space is open. Um, I ordered some exhaust tape off of eBay. When that gets delivered, I'm gonna tape that up. See how that works until I can, you know, weld that shut. Um, but the, the exhaust sounds pretty, pretty good, I guess. This is the old stock exhaust that it that it came with. Um, actually, sound wise, I think I like the stock exhaust better. It was quiet. You know, it wasn't uh, wasn't too crazy. Uh, it, it was it was I I I've personally felt it was quieter than this exhaust here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a start up and let you guys hear it. Also, what I forgot to mention was the throttle setup. It's a little bootleg, but it have to do. Um, I have a rubber band. I have a rubber band from here. This is also this is connected to the rear of the engine to mount it on. These are uh, oversized zip ties. I have a rubber band going from the zip tie to the choke, so that way when it's on, the rubber band pulls it back. I have to create a lever to reach up to the handlebars so when I pull the choke on to start the bike it automatically pulls back with the rubber band and also another rubber band connected to the throttle housing the throttle lever to pull it back um, it was revving too high up in this area here it was just revving absolutely too high so I needed something to pull the throttle back so and it works pretty good uh, the what do you call it the cable for the throttle is these levers come with uh, it comes with holes already in them so I just took the the tip of the cable stuck it in the hole and use this bracket here which where am I use this bracket here this piece came off of uh, I believe this came off of my ZX7 my ninja um, so I just used that, used the screw to screw it in a hole that was already there, ran the throttle cable inside of it with the washer on it so it doesn't pull it all the way through, and it, it holds. It holds pretty good, so that it adds enough tension on the cable so that way the pin won't pop out of the hole while I'm it. So it adds enough tension on it, 
Um, and all I did was add this one little bracket here. Okay, I got it off. I learned that off of a video on YouTube. I can't remember the guy's name, but I did put him in my favorites. Uh, he had a different setup. It was more over this side somewhere, and this pulled back in order to give the gas where mines pull up. All right, but there's the throttle setup. Uh, I still have to figure out something with this here. I this is the original part for the carburetor and the air filter. I just cut it in half because it wouldn't fit in there but since I put this part back on the engine runs the way it's supposed to run um, before with this piece off it's too much air getting inside of the carburetor that's what I'm guessing because with the choke on it runs it'll stay on once I move the choke to turn it off it speeds up in the middle the end the RPM speed up in the middle and then by the time the, the choke gets here the engine completely shuts off since I put this part back on, you know, it runs the way it's supposed to. So I guess it cuts out some of the air and gives it the correct amount of air fuel mixture it's supposed to get. Um, I've seen some engines with air filters on it. I'm going to have to look into one of those and put that on. That'll be that'll be a nice little upgrade. Um, I think that's about it. Yep, that's about it. Painted the seat white, gas cap white. Uh, I showed you the foot pegs with the gold and white. Uh, and that's about it. Alright, I have a, I have a, another idea that I want to do for the bike. I want to see if I can create my own transmission. And as you see, I don't have any space in here to put a transmission on here if I wanted to, even if I knew how to. So, I do have a bike laying around the yard, a regular mountain bike. And I'm going to see if I could swap the sprocket and uh the chain mechanisms and you know trial and error see if it works um all right but here's the 212 uh x7 pocket bike project see you next one